there's in Texas a famous oil field called the Yates Pool, Y-A-T-E-S. And it's owned by a farmer called Yates. And during the Depression, he had a sheep farm and he was barely making it. Every, every so often, he was even worried that he'd have to go bankrupt. I mean, this went on for years and years. He lived in pretty much poverty. And then one day, an oil company came and told, asked him to drill for a well. And now, even years later since that, they're getting over 100,000 barrels a day from that oil well. He possessed it all along. He owned it, but he never discovered it. He never discovered it until much later in his life. And you know, my friends, this gospel speaks about a pearl of great price. And he's referring to our faith, right? He's referring to our faith and the church. And you know, so often today, I think the biggest problem with our culture is they talk about our faith and our church as having no value or relevance. And how sad that is. That's why Jesus talks about it as a pearl. I have a good priest friend. They asked him why he became a priest. You know what he says? He doesn't go into any explanation. He said, I found the pearl. That's all he says. I found the pearl. Because he knows that pearl will take care of him, you know? In down south, there's a church that's been going on for 200 years, since really the Civil War. And the church started from a young slave woman with two children that were starving and they had no water. And she prayed for water and, a, and she turned around and there came, there was a spring. So they, developed, they built a church around it. And this sits in the back of this church. And you know, the congregation calls that spring their pearl because when they look at that spring, they know that God provides. And it's been a sense of faith for them all these years, and they call it the pearl. But you know, there's something of us that we have to do, just like Yates. He owned that was there underneath the oil, but he had to discover it. We too need to do that, don't we? In Africa, and in all third world countries, when they take a collection or an offering, you never know what's gonna be in the basket or whatever they do. There could be animals, there could be clothing, there could be anything. And in this particular country in Chad, the missionary said this is the first time it's happened. A woman took the plate and she put it on the ground. And then you know what she did? She got up and stood in it for three minutes. She stood on that plate and then passed it on. You know, my friends, the missionary looked at it and he said, y'all, she knows what it's all about. She didn't have anything to give, as most don't down there, but that she knew if she gave herself, that would be enough. And it always is. Why do they talk in a sense of pearl, my friends? Because a pearl helps us in this world, but takes us to the next. In Czechoslovakia, you know, all those communist countries, the first thing Hitler did in all the communist regimes was what? They do it all, all, these, all those regimes do the same thing throughout the years. They shut down the church. If you think the church isn't powerful, then why don't they always shut it down first? We doubt that, my friends. But why do these regimes always, that's the first thing they do, shut down the church? Quiet the church. Shut them down. Interesting, isn't it? Well, this church was closed down for, for 55 years, and then in 89, the Berlin Wall came down and Soviet oppression was ended. But all the churches in the Czechoslovakia started ringing their bells. 
and one of the church, Catholic churches there put out a sign said, the lamb wins. For years it looked like communist wins, but God always has the last voice in all our lives, doesn't he? He always has the last voice. And then we go meet him. Hopefully, my friends, will be carrying that pearl with us when we meet him. God bless you.